Hey guys, how's it going everybody? My name is Blitzwing and ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new episode of Customs for the Ben 10 series in LEGO DC Super Villains. So we are continuing our epic custom streak that we have been putting together over the last little while. Of course, do not forget guys, if you're enjoying the series, hit that thumbs up button. That is always very, very, very highly appreciated. Thank you so very much for the support. 500 likes and the next video will be live. So we have how many more? We have four more aliens to design we have designed ben 1000 at this point we have designed jet ray which is pretty epic so uh today we're gonna be putting together the one and only spider monkey and this one was suggested by what's the name bloody dragon okay interesting name there hi why not creating spider monkey it's a spider a monkey fusion like this if you agree so you were one of the top comments uh on the last video so i went ahead and googled some images of spider monkey first of all that is terrifying you weren't kidding when you said that it's part spider part monkey but in addition to that i was super duper confused with spider monkey in the sense that it looked really weird because there was a couple of variations and they were distinctly different so the one i'm putting together you'll see on your screen right now so that's the one we're gonna go for because that's the one that appeared more often but there was another one where it was literally a gorilla with like spider legs on its back like it was kind of a freakier version i guess um of the character but regardless i guess it just depends on which version of the character you like or something but um yeah i, I was just very 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 confused as to why there were so many different variations of this same character because again even within the smaller monkey and then the gorilla version of spider monkey there was like a bunch of recolors. There was one that was blue, then there was one that was purple, one that was like mostly black and purple. Like just so many variations. It was really, really surprising. So I hope this is the one that you meant. Uh, and if not, then obviously we would have to adjust that in the future. All right, so let's get to work. We got to put together a monkey, everybody. A spider monkey, to be quite exact. Okay, so I'm sure this is not going to be the easiest of tasks but we're gonna give it a go so the uh, legs or sorry the arms should be like dark blue the hands we want to kind of go with a double uh recolor so the difficult thing about this character will be again the fact that it has four arms i assume and two legs or maybe that's six legs i don't know how you would describe that but the point is it's got a multitude of arms so we're gonna need to try to figure out how to get uh that as accurate as possible so i think what we'll do is actually yeah this is what we'll do we'll go with the lighter blue there oh wait it's so confusing because the shoulders are light blue then the arms okay i guess never mind we'll have to go with this way there then what i need to do is change the arms or hands sorry to the darker blue there we go okay so not bad we're off to a decent start um, we'll figure out the whole uh, situation with, um, the arms in a second. I don't know how, but we're going to figure it out. Okay, so this character does have a tail, which means that we need to select said tail. And it's just one color possibility, so we'll go with the dark blue. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. The legs... I'm starting like usual with like the easier things to build and then we're kind of gonna keep building up 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 and obviously we'll wind up with some sort of a design that hopefully will resemble the one and only spider monkey at the end of this whole ordeal okay so we'll go light blue there into the dark blue legs not bad um the hips we're gonna just change to the dark blue like that okay 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 we're doing pretty well we're doing pretty well right now really genuinely can't complain about much right at this moment. I think that we've got a pretty good design going, oddly enough. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised by how well this is turning out. Um, so, let me think here. We want to go with a relatively plain look. So maybe something like this. The dark blue. And then the black lines for the highlights. And then give him the... Omnitrix logo that we've been using, which is that. Okay, not bad. Still don't have a clue how to do the extra pair of arms, <laughs> which is like the most crucial part about this character, but so far so good. I can't complain. Oh man, this is going to be crazy. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Um, 
Okay, so this character is interesting because he does have like kind of like a beard. Okay, wait. I also have a weird idea for the hair. Let's see if we could make that work. Let's first scroll through. So it would either be this hairstyle in the light blue. Um, but he does have, again, like these sideburns, sort of. So, like, I don't know how to exactly specifically describe them. This could sort of work as well, honestly. But I think the slicked back hair, I think that's what it was called, wasn't it? Let's see. Slicked back, yep. So the slicked back hair, I think, works a little bit better here. The one thing that's also going to be difficult is figuring out a face that has four different eyes. And ideally, they should be green and black. Because I, I can't... I know that there's the mask that has... Or sorry, the goggles in the game that has three pairs of eyes. So we could possibly use that one and maybe get a decent look. I mean, that's probably what we're going to have to use just based on the fact that... I don't know that there is anything that's going to be uh, a lot more accurate than that. But hey, let's not give up yet. Let's scroll through. I was just wondering, maybe that could look sort of like four eyes, but it clearly does not. Okay, so let me scroll the way up. Just, just before we jump to conclusions and go like, okay, well, that's what we have to use. Maybe there's a better... Could we use this maybe? No, because the um, dots are covered up. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so I guess what we'll have to do then... Um, oh, actually, I could probably even get the sideburns effect done using, like, a face like this, for example. Because then what I could do is I could give him the goggles that I just mentioned, which I think are all the way at the bottom. Yep. So it would be this visor. Right? To give the multitude of eyes. Problem is it's not looking all that great because the hair is covering it up. So that's the side. Should change the color on the face, actually. To be that. And then the sideburns will just change to black so they stand out a bit more. There we go. Okay, so... I wonder if... Could we change the hair? Yeah, okay. So that kind of works a little bit better. He does not have quite as much hair as we're making it out to be here, for sure. But it's still sort of... Ooh, maybe this. Oh, here we go. This could work really well, because we could do the darker tone and the lighter tone. Together. Or maybe even blend it in with the black. There we go. Holy moly! Okay, so I'm actually really, really proud of what we've managed to come up with so far, but now comes the most difficult part of this whole ordeal, and that's figuring out how to give him an extra pair of arms. So before this, with four arms, for example, what we did is we just used a pair of wings, like this, for example. The problem is that you're only allowed to have one of these items, and this character has to have a tail, so we have to include that in here, and unfortunately, as a result of that, that takes away the way of being able to use the... Um, wings for extra arms so we have to come up with something else so let's think here i guess maybe we could use a cape just to add sort of that depth to the character i don't know how that will necessarily look at, as though it's an extra pair of arms but maybe if we use like some like this let's say yeah, it's tough. Because you see, again, there's no way to add the extra arms. Oh, and of course it also takes away the tail if we use the cape. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, Spider Monkey will have to remain a two-armed character. Because there's not going to be a way for us to be able to include both variables, unfortunately. I wish there was, seriously. Because I think that would look really cool. I'm just so happy with what we managed to come up with, I, like, here. I don't really want to ruin it any further. I don't know, maybe, like... I'm almost, like, trying to think, like, is there a, some way that I could mimic or create the illusion of an extra pair of arms? But I don't think so. I think it's just going to look awkward. Maybe there's some weird hat or something we could put on him. 
I doubt it, though, because I don't remember anything that would be applicable here. And I've designed enough characters in this customizer that I would have remembered. Yeah. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this one was tough. Uh, primarily due to the arms. Basically, anytime there's a character in Ben 10 that has an extra pair of arms and, let's say, uh, a tail, or let's say wings and a tail, we can't do a good job with it because the problem is that we're limited to one or the other. So in this case, last time I actually chose the wings over the tail. So this time we're going the other way around and we've chosen the spider monkey tail over the um, addition of the... Um, what is it called? Um, the extra pairs of arms. Which, again, would have not looked all that great anyways. Because it's just... They're, they would have been wings anyway. Because there's only so much we could do with the design, you know? So, regardless, I still think that we did come up with a pretty good take on the character. Guys, we have three aliens to go. So, if you have an alien design that you really, really want to see built before the showcase video, please... Please, please, please use the comment section down below to let me know what that design should be. Because that is the absolute best way to get one of the next aliens built up. So let me know down in the comment section below what design that should be. Also, I don't know how small Spider Monkey should be. So maybe we should have given him the shrinking down ability. But I feel like since we made Grey Matter shrink down, I feel like Spider Monkey is not quite that small. So making him shrink down, I think, would have been like too much of a like small design so again i know that there's going to be people who disagree with this and this is perfectly fine and natural and uh i understand if you guys don't like the design and what aspects of it but i'd love to see your take if you guys can do a better job i definitely would love to see your designs as well so of course don't forget at blitzwinger on twitter and instagram have an absolute fantastic day guys hit that like button subscribe thank you so very much for pressing the like button and subscribing and uh, I'll see you guys here on the next customs. Peace out. See you later. And I get us.